Hello again everyone. I attended the Let Women Speak rally in Melbourne on Saturday the 18th of March, which has since received a lot of publicity here in Australia. Over the past day I've had some time to think about what I observed and draw some conclusions which I thought I'd share with you. The women's rally had a range of speakers and the crowd listening was a cross-section of the community here, including lesbians and gays. Facing off against us biological women were trans radical activists who claimed our rally was hateful and who broke the police line several times in their efforts to stop us speaking in our designated space. Several of them wound up being dragged away by police. Personally, I find the young women of this group, I like to refer to them as the handmaidens, to be the most disturbing. They were frothing at the mouth like rabid dogs demanding that us older women be shut up I believe they truly hate us. On the edges of our rally, another group of agitators, the militant Victorian socialists, were in a standoff with the far-right National Socialist Movement. So Victoria Police stood between the groups who came to hijack the Let Women Speak rally. The various groups were locked in a highly charged standoff for about an hour, whilst guarded by police. Eventually, the police gave the National Socialist Movement a protective guard to move out of the Parliament area, passing the trans radical activists. In the chaos of the multiple protests and counter protests, the mainstream media here has seized the opportunity to directly link the women's rights protest and the men clad in black. My own observation is that none of the groups agitating had any respect for the women's rights rally and they were just there to fight their own ideological battles. The women spoke, but no one heard. In the past 48 hours, the leader of the Australian Liberal Party, John Pesuto, has moved to expel the Liberal MP Maura Deeming from the party due to her attending and speaking at the women's event. Pesuto has also accused Kelly J. Keane of far-right affiliations. There are no basis to these accusations, and Kelly J. Keane is said to be considering legal action. The Nazi salute has also been banned in Victoria. The fallout from this event will continue for some time. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video.